Take your seat. Thank you. You may like to introduce you to all of us. Sure. Uh, my name is Arup Tarid. I am from village Akhun Bandi, Haripur, KPK. Uh, my father is a retired army officer and my mother is currently a housewife, but she has been previously a teacher and has written three books as well. My, I have two younger siblings. My sister is in university and my younger brother is in uh, 10th grade. As for me, I graduated from Nust College of Electrical and Mechanical Engineering uh, in 2021 as a mechatronics engineer. Soon after my graduation, I started working uh, as a fellow in Teach for Pakistan NGO. And I left this job to prepare for my CSS examination. And currently, I'm working as uh, assistant director, uh, ma material management in FESCO, Faisalabad. So what is your job description? Um, sir, basically, I am uh, assistant director material management disposal. So the work is basically to dispose of any scrap material, any unserviceable material that could be a uh, conductor, that could be uh, meters that can't be used, that could be vehicles as well. So what do you think about this uh, this organization of uh, Faisalabad Electric Supply? Do you think that uh, the amount, the, the total amount of uh, units which they are selling, they are getting the revenue according to the... Um, sir, as for um, uh, as per my information, uh, FESCO is one of the uh, leading uh, discos among the ones present in Pakistan. Well, I'm asking and its you revenue about is uh, yes, sir. Its revenue collection is uh, it, it 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 is not hundred percent, but it is uh, uh, better than other risk. No, no, no. I'm not into just. I'm, this is a academic question. What is the percentage of recovery vis-a-vis -vis the unit sold? Um, sir, around 87, 89%. 23% loss. Hai. Yes, sir. Sir, 13%. Ye, you see, 33%. Yes, sir. 33%. Hai. What is the reason for circular debt in the country? Sir, the reasons, firstly, uh, the biggest reason is, I think, the capacity payments that we have to uh, give to no, the no, no, this is not. I am talking about the circular debt, not um, capacity payment. Sir, this amounts, uh, this adds up uh, in the... Yes, sir. What is your understanding of artificial intelligence? Sir, artificial intelligence is basically, um, it is uh, a mechanism. Uh, it's a system that uh, that manifests, manifests the human intelligence and even better than human intelligence. It can perform uh, multiple uh, functions uh, like uh, computation, like uh, uh, maybe it could be used in uh, our, our drones, it could be used in vehicles. As it could basically perform like a human, but it's uh, not a human. It manifests, manifests uh, human intelligence, basically. How do you see the future of democracy in Pakistan? Sir, I feel like the democracy in Pakistan uh, will continue to flourish. Uh, if we see that Pakistan has for past uh, 20 years been... Uh, uh, a democratic, uh, uh, it, it hasn't seen uh, any uh, military intervention, it hasn't seen any uh, thing that has been uh, 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 that has been uh, diminishing its uh, democracy. In fact, we see multiple uh, parties, multiple people who are getting more and more uh, involved into uh, this process. Um, people are more engaged, and that is why I feel like the democracy is uh, is flourishing, and it will continue to flourish. When is your interview? Uh, sir, my interview is on uh, in the first phase. In the first phase. First phase. Yes, sir. Islamabad. You have got the date or not? Not, no, sir, not yet. Okay. Our pleasure. Thank you. You have mentioned. Your weakness, one of the weakness, overly empathetic. What do you mean by this? I feel like that I'm over empathetic. I feel people's uh, worries. I feel people's pain. Uh, and that, of course, uh, of course, it is a good thing to feel uh, what people are feeling. But sometimes it uh, can uh, take a toll over you. So that is why I feel like that it is a weakness and I uh, should be able to manage it. And I'm trying to manage it. Perfectionist, again, you say is your weakness. Yes, sir. Best laws hierarchy, 
public administration. What was that about? Uh, yes, sir. So it's basically a five. Uh, uh, he uh, he basically divided the needs into five steps. First need uh, is the basic needs like food, shelter. Uh, second needs uh, are related to. Um, I'm sorry, sir. Was he from the uh, traditional school of thought, or was he from the human relations? Uh, sir, traditional. Traditional. Yes, sir. Traditional school of thought. What was that? Um, that was scientific management theory. Uh, yes, sir. So they were uh, basically um, uh, focused upon management of uh, the human resource in a way that leads to maximum productivity. Oh, yes, that's fine. So it was the human relations. Okay. More tilt towards the human relations. How will you define an organization? The first thing you are taught in public administration. Yes, sir. An organization. What is blue economy? The blue economy is uh, basically the economy that is related to oceans and seas. It includes uh, trade through uh, uh, these uh, uh, routes and uh, it includes the resources that are uh, can be extracted and present in uh, these uh, oceans and seas. How long is the coastline of our country? 1096 kilometers. How many seaports are there around? Sir, currently we have uh, one and uh, uh, we have two Gawadar Seaport and Karachi Seaport. There are three other seaports also. Who coined the word term bureaucracy? Uh, Max Weber. And, and what was the, uh, you see, the theory which he coined about bureaucracy? What was the postulates of that uh, theory? Sir, he gave uh, six. Um, uh, principles on which uh, a bureaucracy or a uh, bureaucratic organization works. Uh, it includes impersonality, it includes hierarchy, it includes um, uh, rules and regulations, it includes... What is, the, <coughs> what is the significance of hierarchy? The hierarchy is really important in any bureaucratic organization uh, because the rules and regulations are actually made uh, and uh, the bureau, uh, the work of bureaucracy is basically to implement the policies. So these uh, policies are made uh, at another level and then they are through some certain rules and regulations implemented. So it's really important that a hierarchy is ma uh, maintained in a bureaucracy to uh, ensure the discipline as well. What uh, foreign service is your uh, third choice? Yes, sir. As a foreign service officers, what they... Uh, what are the, their responsibilities abroad in the embassies? So the responsibilities of uh, an ambassador or uh, 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 it includes um, first to ensure uh, uh, the interests of the people who are abroad, of the nationals who are abroad in that country are uh, are protected they are protected for example they are uh, for visas and for certain uh, things like this they are uh, uh, that is their first uh, job uh, secondly they have to ensure uh, the re good relations with, uh, and uh, they have to find the venues in which the relations can be made better between the uh, host and uh, their own country and they have, if there is any sort of escalation, any sort of conflict, they have to find ways uh, through which uh, uh, these can be uh, solved. Okay. Welcome to CSP's Academy for CSS PMS preparation. CSS PMS Tehreeri Imtihan ke tamam mazameen ki online or on campus tayari ke saath saath subject selection, assignment checking, class test, mock exam, individual teacher discussion or feedback session ka inaqab kiya jayega iske alawa fpsc ki tajweez karda books se bane mayari notes aur csp's publisher ki behtareen books muhaiya ki jayengi arup dare foreign service is your third option yes ma'am could you give your views on the foreign policy of pakistan Yes, the foreign policy of Pakistan is currently of uh, maintain of having good relations with uh, every country, of having productive relations, and not taking a certain side or, or being a part of a certain bloc. So that is the main uh, foreign policy of Pakistan currently, and it also 
uh, include uh, 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 taking uh, of of uh, promoting of uh, associating with Islamic cause like uh, Palestine cause as well. Okay, now you have given two options for me to ask you further question. Uh, firstly, uh, what is Pakistan's uh, stance on Palestine issue? So Pakistan's stance on Palestine issue is that uh, they sh uh, firstly, uh, in the current scenario, there should be a de-escalation. Uh, there should be an immediate ceasefire. And secondly, uh, for uh, in the long term, Pakistan's uh, uh, approach is Pakistan promotes the idea of a two-state nation uh, with the borders uh, pre-1967 borders. Right. So can you tell me what has recently happened in Palestine? Okay, so recently, uh, Hamas actually um, attacked, uh, uh, infiltrated Israel and it uh, it was a re real, uh, it shocked basically the Israeli uh, army, which was considered one of the uh, imp uh, impenetrable uh, uh, places in the world and with the strongest intelligence, one of the strongest intelligence in the world. So uh, they have retaliated and they are currently have dropped more than 6,000 bombs uh, in Palestine and they have killed around 4,000 people, including uh, 1,800 children. What is the common factor between these three? Um, I would say it's their, uh, firstly, uh, their drive to serve the humanity and secondly, their resilience. They're trying or they are? They have. What do you like about To Kill a Mockingbird? Now, To Kill a Mockingbird, uh, basically it's a story of courage. It's a story of how, uh, and another aspect is how a father teaches uh, his daughter about multiple uh, aspects of society. So uh, this is what I really like. The courage aspect is what I really like. And then, of course, how he teaches uh, his daughter multiple principles of non-discrimination, of being courageous. Among your hobbies is uh, drama, documentaries, and movies. Yes. Is it watching or producing? It's watching now. How do you define drama? Drama is any uh, story. It is based upon multiple, usually, episodes. <coughs> And uh, it's usually a fiction. Thank you, Aruba. Dr. Sam. Thank you, ma'am. Well, Arun, uh, you read Pakistan study. What did you know about subcontinent? Okay, so subcontinent, um, as uh, currently, it is divided into India and Pakistan. And previously, it was uh, a combined uh, area. Why so it is called subcontinent, not continent? Subcontinent. Where it is situated? It is situated in uh, South Asia. South Asia. Did you know uh, uh, the name of countries, those who are situated in Southeast Asia? Uh, yes, sir. Name sir, um, Thailand, Philippines, uh, South Korea, Japan, um, Singapore. Name the countries of Sindhu China. Um, do you know something about Chandragupta Maurya? No, sir. And Ashoka? Um, sir, not enough to comment about it. Okay. Uh, you read uh, international relations. What you think that in your outlook, you are, uh, you belongs, your ideas belongs to liberal school of thought or real school of thought? Sir, I think my ideas belong to liberal school of thought. Liberal school of thought. Oh, okay. Then considering yourself a liberal policy maker, what you will suggest uh, for Pakistan, then how Pakistan can uh, lasting peace restore in the region? Because uh, Pakistan can focus on economic development. It can focus on um, improve uh, on giving, for example, if there are uh, the terrorists that are caught, they, they should be uh, uh, should be. Uh, they should be uh, 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 reintegrated into the society by giving them jobs, by giving them uh, maybe some kind of th a therapy. That is uh, a concept of this as well. Okay, uh, can you name the Axis power in World War II? The Axis power is uh, uh, Germany, Italy, and 
Okay, my last question is about uh, Constitution of Pakistan. Yes. How many amendments happen in the Constitution of Pakistan? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. You can check it. Okay. चले लेट्स कंक्लूड दिस फॉर्मल इंटरव्यू तुमने जाके जो जो सवाल आए हैं ना तो इनको जाके देखना है आपने दोबारा ठीक है ना तो देखो बेटी यू हैव क्वालिफाइड द रिटर्न एग्जामिनेशन ठीक है ना दिस इज अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी बट यू आर नॉट प्रिपेयर्ड फॉर द इंटरव्यू तुमने तैयारी नहीं की हुई कर नहीं रही कब है तुम्हारा अब ये इंटरव्यू Um, sir, date नहीं आए लेकिन it's expected in November. Okay. तो अभी date नहीं है तो in in a way you have got time. Yes sir. तो उस time को utilize करो daily आठ घंटे invest करो eight hours in a day आप invest करें अपने interview की preparation के लिए. Okay sir. ठीक है एक तो अपना जो introduction है one pager लिखो objectivity उसमें लाओ हवा में बातें नहीं करनी objectivity one pager not more than one minute delivery हो खत्म ठीक है अपने आप को हालत जंग में पैदा करो ना स्टेट ऑफ प्रिपेयरनेस ये बंदा दिन रात और मैं जो स्टेट ऑफ प्रिपेयरनेस कहता हूँ मैं उसको कहता हूँ कि आठ घंटे रोज आपने इंटरव्यू रिलेटेड चीजें पढ़नी है ठीक है न्यूज पेपर आपका नॉलेज गैप विजिबल है ठीक है और न्यूज पेपर रीडिंग शुरू करें एक अखबार उठा लें न्यूज डॉन जो भी है पिछले दो महीने के कम अज कम उठाएं साठ न्यूज पेपर उनको भी रिव्यू करना शुरू करें इंटरनेशनल नेशनल डोमेस्टिक सोशल इश्यूज अब ये सोशल इश्यू तो पांच महीने कह दे कोई बता देती पॉवर्टी है चौक पे बैगरी है लैक ऑफ एजुकेशन है समथिंग लाइक यू कैन आइडेंटिफाई तो नोटबुक अपनी मेंटेन करो इंटरव्यू भी करती हो या नहीं yes, नोटबुक समथिंग की जैसे पावर पॉइंट प्रेजेंटेशन होती है ना आपने एनर्जी क्राइसिस लिख दिया एनर्जी इशू ऑफ पाकिस्तान एक दो तीन चार पॉइंट इशू है अब जैसे सर्कुलर डेट है तो मदर दिस इज ए मेजर इशू इसकी रीजनिंग आपको तो बिल्कुल एक टिप्स पे होनी चाहिए और उसको डेली बेसिस पर रिव्यू करो नेक्स्ट तीन चार दिन में तुम एक सौ जो है ना टॉपिक को आइडेंटिफाई करो उनके पॉइंट्स बनाओ और उनको डेली बेसिस पर रिव्यू करो तो वेन यू स्पीक ये कॉन्वर्सेशन में जो ही अगर कोई इसका जिक्र आता है तो फॉरन यू आर एन ए पोजिशन टू से ठीक है ना आप बताएं सर पाकिस्तान के बारे में भी पता आपको होना चाहिए ना ये पाकिस्तान की जो कोस्ट लाइन है कितनी है बड़ी है इस पर कितने पोर्ट्स हैं आपने दो बताए हैं तीन और भी हैं जा, जाके इसको चेक करें देखें इसको और ये पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन आपका सब्जेक्ट है इसको भी चेक करें जाकर क्योंकि ये सबसे पहली चीज़ जो पब्लिक एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन है वो यही पढ़ाई आती है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्या है तो ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का जो है ना आपको पता नहीं है ये तो ये नॉलेज गैप है नॉलेज गैप है करंट अफेयर्स को पर भी तोज्जो दें आप ये जो फॉरेन सर्विस ऑफिसर्स की आपने पार्टली पार्ट जवाब दिया पूरा इसके और और रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज हैं कल इंटरेस्ट को प्रमोट कर और पाकिस्तान के को ट्रेड रिलेशंस को स्ट्रेंथन करना तो ये होती ज़्यादा आजकल अहम रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटीज ये होती है ठीक यू हैव अ गुड पर्सनैलिटी यू आर नाइसली ड्रेस्ड योर आर्टिकुलेशन इज गुड थोड़ा सा नॉलेज गैप है उसको फिलअप करें ये जो पर्सनैलिटीज दिखी अभी आपने सबमिट कर दी है या अभी नहीं की है मैम आई रोट मुनीबा मजारी एंड डॉक्टर अमजद साकब यू वो रिसेंट सबमिटेड इट यस मैम मैम ऑल नॉट ऑल पार्ट्स ऑफ दिस परफॉर्मर वर इंक्लूडेड इन अवर साइकोलॉजिकल बट आपने पर्सनैलिटीज उन्हें लिख दी है यस प्लीज स्टडी अलॉट अबाउट दैम मुनीबा की बहुत से पहलू हैं उसका हैंडीकैप एक है लेकिन उसका डाइवोर्स एक और है ट्रेडिशनल जो उसकी रिबिलियन है वो एक और है आपको हर तरह के सवाल आ सकते हैं बिकॉज द पैनल इज नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस पर्सन द पैनल इज इंटरेस्टेड इन यू वेन दे आस्क यू क्वेश्चन इट इज टू एक्सपोज योर इनर साइड सो मेंटली प्लीज जो आपने नाम दिए हैं उनको अच्छी तरह स्टडी करो ताकि उनके जो क्रिटिसिज्म है 
اس کے جوابات جو اب دو وہ آپ کی انر سائڈ کو پراپر ریفلیکٹ کرے یہ ہابیز بھی آپ نے دے دی ہے کیونکہ اتنی ساری ہابیز آپ نے دے دی ہیں اس پہ کتنے سوال آ سکتے ہیں میں نے ایک آپ سے ڈیفینیشن پوچھی آف ڈراما ڈراما از دا ٹیکنیکل ٹرم ان لٹریچر انگلش لٹریچر ریڈ دا ڈیفینیشن یہ جتنے بھی آپ نے دیے ہیں ان کا ہی وہ کمپیریزن ڈیفینیشنس میں کر سکتے ہیں تو یو کین گیٹ اسٹک تو جو آپ نے لکھا ہے دس از یور ایڈوانٹیج اور ڈس ایڈوانٹیج اب جو لکھ دیا لکھ دیا لیکن اس میں پھر تھوڑا نالج کرو کیونکہ آپ کو یہ سوال آئیں گے ادر وائز یو آر اسٹرانگ کینڈیڈیٹ بٹ یو ہیو ٹو فوکس آن دس تھینک یو تھینک یو ویل اروب آپ کا نالج جو ہے آپشن میں تو آپ کا نالج کا سیریس گیپ ہے شاید وہ اس لیے کہ چونکہ آپ نے انجینئرنگ کی ہوئی ہے سوشل اسٹڈیز کو آپ نے چیزوں کو ٹچ زیادہ نہیں کیا ہوا ایز اے سبجیکٹ صرف آپشن کے طور پہ آپ نے ان کو لیا ہوا ہے تو ان سے ریلیٹڈ جو آپ کے کانسیپٹس ہیں نا ان کو آپ کو جو ہے اچھی طریقے سے انڈرسٹینڈ کرنا پڑے گا تبھی جا کے آپ کوشچنس کو آنسر کر پائیں گے یہ والا گیپ تو آپ کو بہت سیریس گیپ ہے تو اگر وہاں پر اس طرح کے کوشچن آ گئے تو آپ اس میں آپ کا ایویلویشن بہت نیچے آ جائے گی اس گیپ کو فل کیجیے گا ٹھیک ہے تھینک یو چلیے بیسٹ آف لک تھینک یو